Hello, welcome to this video. It's going to be about bounding box outline reloaded. So it's, it's available in 112 and 113, but it appears the 114 version is better. So this red box looks like the spawn chunk. This spot here looks like the biome border. Okay, so we look at the village now. Here we have a plains village. I don't think I've seen a Plains Village actually but ever before. Unless it's a question of scale here. Most of these green blocks is what I understand is just slime chunks there. Let's have a look at igloo now. So the igloo is got a white box with the igloo. Yep. Yeah. This red line, I believe, tells you if the the red and orange lines are supposed to tell you if it's nearby and activated. Okay, so you can see here with the uh, bur the buried treasure, there'll be a, a cyan box. I'll tell you where the buried treasure is. It's kind of useful, actually, the uh, biome thing. Be, for instance, if I wanted to go, it is unusual to be able to see the biomes quite like this, right? But you can imagine if you were breeding bees or something, and for some reason you needed the combination of tiger, tiger hills, and beach. That spot that I was just flitting between would have been perfect for it right because it would be in a small range okay so here we have the uh, this one you can actually see a little bit better uh, with the pillager outpost so I guess the spawning is is above here as well but I think it's what it's trying to say is that the crossbow guys um, let's see if I can see a bit better in the daytime yeah the crossbow guys are going to spawn within this box here it's not that easy to see the box. It's a funny shaped box. So they can't, it looks like they can't actually spawn here for some reason. So it's not the spawning area you might think. If I just go up to the top, I wonder if I can see it any better or it would be worse. We've got something else over here. Okay, so you can see here we've got an ocean ruin. That gets a, uh, I guess, a cyan box. Okay, so here we have the witch area. I don't know if it's just me, but I've noticed that the witch spawns much more often. Um, but yeah, the witch spawn is pretty small, actually. I'll it's actually quite a cool way to see, like, um, the way that the extended cave spawners are. Because obviously extended caves is like the main mod of 114 so far, really. I mean, that's how it looks, right? You can see that they really are very, uh, they're kind of like packed quite tightly together, the, uh, the spawners there. So the jungle pyramid, just a green box for that. I got to say, here's the ocean monument. It is kind of convenient to have the. There's a lot of slime chunks. There are a lot of slime chunks because what else can these things be, right? This is a great addition, this. If, if you've seen my uh, Upgrade Aquatic video, you'll see this. I think they are supposed to be like a bit more in terms of where the mobs can spawn. So we saw there, it was like, that, that tiny cyan box means that the buried treasure is there, which also, of course, means that the heart of the sea is there.
It's actually a very convenient way though, uh, with the bounding boxes like this, to quickly go to move between, you know, various different ruins in the ocean. So although they are visible, it's not so obvious. Kind of funny the rendering there. Yeah, because I know that these things, right? I don't believe they... Do they have drown spawns in them or no? You always see the, the drowned around them there. Uh, but I guess they don't have a spawn, otherwise it would be showing up. Just want to check. Yeah, there's always a chest there, but... But the fact there's so many here tells me that they do actually... This guy's got an auto show, you don't often see that. So it's kind of cool how like everything is color coded like this. So here's the uh, desert temple. By the way, in Traverse Legacy, you get really wild spawns of stuff. Um, that's why this is looking like unusual. Um, I know for a fact uh, because I did actually, I actually did get a message from the uh, Traverse developer once, and he told me how hard he'd been working on his mod, and I actually believe him. So. Um, a lot, of, a lot of people do work hard on their biome mods. Um, but if you're also very skilled in programming, which I think this guy is, um, it, me it means you need to take a bit more notice of it, in my opinion. And this, and what I've seen um, in one fourteen, I would say, upgrade aquatic. Traverse, Extended Caves. To me, they're the ones which are really uh, looking like this is so. This is something really, really cool going on here. Oh, driftwood. I don't think I saw this. I think this is it. Must be a certain named structure. But why is there spawning around it? There must be also a way, like to be able to see some of these spawning rules because th those drowned are not spawning there for no reason right because every time I approach one of those there's they're around there so I'm not sure if that information can be conveyed as well it might be able to I gotta say when you look at the villages though like this is a crazy looking village the size of it is massive But yeah, there should be there should be some more stuff. This is something which is new as well. And I don't think you had as many baby villages before. Just on the initial spawn. But yeah, like I say, the uh it doesn't look like there is some funny glitching around the bounding box which may be fixed at some point. Okay, so this is how the uh the Woodland Mansion renders. I think every I think every box is a different room. What I understand. It does look that way, right? Like for instance if we go in here. Hmm. Hard to tell, really. And again, I'm not sure about the, the spawning rules. Because I know there's a thing like that, that they don't they don't they don't arrive back, right? Do they? 
But yeah, one thing, another thing to point out, so we've got the spawn chunks here, and these are the actual, if you look at this red box over here, this is the actual spawn uh, chunks. So you'll spawn here, but you'll actually, um, so we could try something like, so what we're according to the moment, a one sixty five zero. So if I changed it, so you can see the box. What we can do actually is if we put the render distance much higher, might be able to see. You can actually see the entire box now. I wonder if we. It's pretty crazy, but pretty awesome as well. Okay, let's have a look through here. So here's the stronghold. I'm just curious how we're going to. Uh, looks like again green boxes for this. Here you can see the spawner. That's weird. You can see actually, look. It's showing you the, the activation range. It's of this guy, right? Oh no, 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 it's not. So here's the end portal room. All oh, right. So yeah, so with the spawners, um, so here's the end portal room. With the spawners, you can see. So I believe it's is it between 16 and 24 blocks. So you'll see once I get into that range, that's when the you can see there's that eight block range here. I wonder, like, why it goes from orange to red. Is there like a greater range at, at some aspect there? It might be, but yeah. But if I just rotated around this spawner or any spawner, I would be able to keep the the line consistent like that. It doesn't look like there's any specific uh, border for, say, the library here. So we can see actually that Sortex does do phases of the moon as well. This is again something that you may uh, you may be interested in. This is useful for astral sorcery, of course. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. Okay, here we are at the fortress. Uh, again, we're not seeing that much of. Let's see what. I feel like maybe the stuff with the. Are the, the rules the same for this? Yeah, they are. I feel like though that you can, that you can get spawning even like here though. With blazers, maybe not. I've always felt you could there. But yeah, you do get the bounding boxes. Like this area here, you wouldn't think would be a, a spawning area, but it is. Interesting. It does give you a more... Uh, it's only at that Y level, isn't it? 
It looks like, by the way, that I don't think the uh, mineshaft uh, has been implemented either. So there is that. Because like, this is all mineshaft here and there's no boxes around it. Okay, so the final one, because we may as well do them all, right? I sort of just, sort of just figured may as well at this point. That's an interesting place for the NC, isn't it? 7.20 and 10.24, huh? And so, yeah. I was thinking, is there any uh, interesting spawning in uh, with Traverse? Probably not, really. Because you can see, and this one's got a boat as well. Do they, I, don't, I think some of them don't have boats, right? The boat thing is kind of interesting. Um, is that always in the Midlands as opposed to the Highlands? The boat, because that 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 is. I do I do like the biome. It must be right. What is on this side? So that's the Barrens. I assume that the 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 area with these little islands has got. So that's a small end islands bar biome. Yeah, it's quite it's quite cool anyway. So that's everything for now. So thanks for watching.